So, a somewhat mixed bag of reviews this week. But not to worry, for now we go on to our celebrity challenge. And here to tell us all about it is the biggest celeb of them all, the Games Master. Nice to see you again. I do hope you enjoyed that last little jaunt. What an extremely able young man he was. Time for some sports now, I think. Let's retire to the billiard room for some Green Bay's action on Jimmy White's whirlwind snooker. You'll have 90 seconds each on this most realistic of snooker simulations to amass the highest possible score. Only the colours will be on the table. They'll start over the pockets, but will be returned to their spots once they've been potted. May the best man win. And for this challenge, young Christian Price from Nottingham will take on the game's designer, Archer McLean. And helping to provide expert ball-by-ball -ball commentary is one of the most popular and successful figures in the game, the whirlwind himself, Jimmy White! <laughs> now, Christian, if I turn to you first, you're actually the national champion at this game. You must fancy your chances against the man who designed it. Yes, I do. You think you're going to take him? Yeah. Now, if I could go on to you, Archer, an excellent game you have designed. Surely you must know everything there is to know about it, and this will be no problem to you. I've got to talk to him for the tips first. <laughs> <laughs> and last but by no means least, Jimmy, you'll be joining me in the pulpit. Who do you fancy for this challenge? I don't know. I think it'd be even money, actually. I, I think I might fancy the kid. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, Archer, if you'd like to linger around in that pew there, Christian, take your seat in the game-playing chair, and Jimmy, come up to the pulpit with me. Uh Okay, so what's the general, any general tips you could give Christian? Um, well, mainly he just wants to get himself in a good position and just uh, hopefully if he keeps his position and carry on potting as many balls as he can and build up his break. Okay, Christian, are you ready? Then chalk your cue and get ready to pot those balls. Okay, now let's see what shot he's going to line up first. The time right. will start ticking away as soon as once he hits. he hits the first ball. And it looks like he's lining up the black there in the bottom corner pocket, Jimmy. A good choice? Um, yeah, he's going to go for the black first. And then he's not going in sequence, obviously. So um, he's going to pop the black. And I think he's putting it plain ball, yeah. It looks like plain ball. Nice yeah. long stroke. Oh, it's nice weight. Yeah, it's a bit of time, though, getting there. It's a run round. I'm going to try and uh, pop the pink now in the pocket. May may use a little bit of screw. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I think he's using a bit of bottom. A bit short, because he's going to screw back. And there he goes. Yeah, and there's a little, uh, there's a little screw back, you see, there. Yeah. Now, what will yeah. that enable him to do with this shot? Will it be positioned for...? Well, he's, he, yeah, he's got his next position on this... Um, oh, you see that brown's covering the, the pocket? The brown's kind of a bit awkward, yeah, but it looks like he's lining up just about perfect. I'm very pleased he chalked his cue before. <laughs> OK, it's halfway through the time now, 45 seconds. Oh! oh. May have fluked it in this pocket. Oh, the pink's coming back. Is it gone and in? Yes! Yes! Different, but they all count. Nice little trick shot there. And he's just uh, lining this ball up again. I think it needs to come a bit higher. Oh, hopefully, he used a bit of screw as well. Yeah, he oh, just yeah. used a bit of oh, nice He used a stun shot, which is so, tremendous. Chris is potting very well, but he's got, only got 20 seconds left now. He's going to have to hurry now, Jimmy. See what he's yeah, see what hurry up. Yeah. yeah, he's lining up the pink again, a bit to the right now with the dive bag. Right? That's it, about there. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think he should it's hit Very it. tense, he's got seven seconds left. He's got to pot this one. Yeah, great oh, shot. Oh, and that one's in. Does he have time to line up one more? Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Out of time, Chris, with a score of 31 points. Tremendous. Christian, would you like to swap places with Archer then? And if you'd like to find out if the game's designer Archie McLean can bet a Christian score of 31, please return to us after the break. Welcome back to our special Green Bay's Games Master. We're featuring Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker Challenge, and the great man himself is with me in the commentary box. National Computer Snooker Champion Christian Price has just scored a break of 31, and now the game's designer Archer McLean is about to see if he can top it. Archer, are you ready? Then chalk your cue and begin your break. OK, now I see Archer's going for the... He looks like he's lining up the pink. Yeah, he's going to line Jimmy. up the pink. Uh, I think he may play this with top. 
Oh, oh he stunned that ball stunned beautifully. It, yeah, very good shot. Now, is there room to squeeze the pink in here? The pink, yeah, similar shot that Christian had. Uh, he needs to hit this straight, and he's uh, in length, bit of, uh, bit of screw, just yeah. below bottom. Yes, Ooh, that's it. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah. 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 You know, he's bringing it round. They're all going to try and pot the pink. He may even attempt to go off the brown here. But I think he might just go straight to the pocket when he gets it round. Okay, here he goes. Yeah, Ooh, he's in. that one. He screwed points. it back. It's a tremendous shot. Screwed it back, leave himself a nice angle yeah. for it again. That's right. I think he's going to stay on this pink and score points from this shot. Because uh, he's already got it lined up. So he's uh, very clever what oh, he's done Oh, nice one again there. Screwed it back a little bit. Oh, he's going to move it around, give it a bit of variety. He's now going to pop the black. OK, 37 seconds left. Oh, 31, he's, equal, he's now equaled Christian's score. It's all in this next ball. He's got 30 seconds left here. What's he going to go for, Jimmy? He's going for the uh, same shot again in the middle, but from the other side of the table. He's just going to stun it in. That's what yeah. he's done. Oh, and he's done it, and Archer has won. <laughs> now... Bad luck, Christian. 31 points. A very good score. Not quite enough. How do you think you could have scored better? A bit quicker. That's too slow. Archer, you wasted no time with those balls at all. What was the secret of your success? Well, I was lucky on that first pink, but it helps writing the game as well. So. Right, OK. And now I thought our expert, Jimmy. Jimmy, a quick summing up of the game. The boy Christian did well, but not quite enough. No, he did very well, but um, Archer being a bit more experienced, he played the same ball in the middle three times, which gave him a lot of points. But no, it was, it was close. Right, now, Archer, as our winner tonight, you win the best prize in television, a Golden Games Master joystick! <laughs> Another round of applause for our winner! And I tell him there's a Christian prize for you! And now, before Jimmy pops off, we've got a special treat for you at home. We got the games designer, Archer McLean, to line us up a special trick shot that would test even Jimmy. So Jimmy, if you'd like to sit yourself in the hot seat and we'll see how you fare. Now, talk us through this shot we've set up for you. Right, um, where the arrow is pointing at this red here over the pocket, right. I'm going to try, with the cue ball being based here, I'm going to try and pot the red over the pocket, which is like, looks, it, well, it is impossible actually, but I'm going to play a free ball plant. Right. So I'll just take this over to there. OK, here. well, good luck, Jimmy. OK, are we ready? Yep. Right. Yeah. Should cannon it and knock the red in. Oh, brilliant! Another round of applause, thank you very much, Jimmy!